I'm currently thinking of what uh, what music disc I should use as the background video, but I think I'm actually gonna I'm gonna use weight. My name is Jaden Jenis, and this is the revival of Minecraft. I was nine. I finally saved up all my Tooth Fairy money and bought Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition. And I still play that damn game today. But how did this love for such a simple blocking even start? How did it die down? And how did it just recently blow up? Let's go back to 2012. Early. 2012, when I first discovered the game. I saw a video show up in my YouTube recommended on my mom's old iMac, and I believe it was a video by Captain Sparkles. If I remember correctly, he had a gigantic treehouse base, and it was modded. Maybe not, but that's from what I remember, that was how it was. As soon as I saw the creativity and what you could do, I instantly fell in love with the blocks. I started watching more stuff like Minecraft songs. Also, shout out to the banger, Eye of the Tiger. This this masterpiece has to be one of my favorites, like seriously, like... Play Minecraft! Like, it's so good! Rest in peace to the king who jumped off the tower in Fallen Kingdom. You know, and TNT. TNT was such a classic Minecraft, like, music video because it just felt like raw Minecraft. And ever since then, I sort of just loved the game. It eventually just died down. I don't really know why or how, but from what I can remember, it simply was just more games were coming out. And when Microsoft bought Minecraft, everybody thought it would run to shit. And in my opinion, it did. It it failed completely. The invention of Bedrock version just completely changed Minecraft. It The graphics look like this, not like this. It, it runs weird, it feels like polished, it just feels... Well, it feels like a really good Chinese remake of Minecraft. And then Fortnite came out. Minecraft was pretty much already dead, but this seriously just destroyed it all. It Fortnite took the world by storm. Literally, even in the game, the world gets taken over by a storm. But all YouTubers, all YouTubers who used to play Minecraft became Fortnite YouTubers. Fortnite for the past two years has completely taken the world by storm and has completely destroyed all hopes for other games even getting relevant views on YouTube. It sucked. At one point, me and my buddy Ethan actually tried making a Fortnite video. It was unedited garbage, but the, the problem was every time I refreshed that like page, it was another 10 views. That's how much Minecraft was blowing up. We had zero subscribers, but the fact that we even made a video that wasn't good at all and it was already getting 10 views every refresh blew my mind. It blew both of ours. It, it was crazy. It, it, In my opinion, it wiped all creativity off of the platform. Well, wait, you may be thinking, Jaden, you just skipped five years. Well, yeah, that's because Minecraft just started to die down. It was still popular, but no Minecraft video had that same feeling and joy I got when I was nine years old watching Python GB's modded survival or Ant Venom's Aether Let's Play. Hey guys, Ant Venom here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And uh, in this video, uh, you guys. I love the game to pieces, but I just eventually lost interest. But then, and yes, I was incredibly late to the party, I discovered Minecraft parodies. These were the holy, like, this was everything Minecraft. Minecraft was represented by these parodies. Without these parodies, where would Minecraft even be right now? I, I don't know. Minecraft parodies were just essentially music in a Minecraft form. Now that definitely might sound dumb to the average viewer, but I promise when you were nine years old and your favorite game had songs made by your favorite YouTubers, it was a dream come true, especially when I'd rather, personally even now, rather listen to Fallen Kingdom than Viva La Vida which is the song that Fallen Kingdom is based off of, or parodied of. I can't even tell you how much I had Fallen Kingdom and TNT on repeat. I mean, Fallen Kingdom and TNT were a staple of the 2000 to 2004 generation. We grew up watching this stuff. I mean, look how good it was for 2012. I mean, like, honestly, like, okay, like this scene where he gets blown off the bridge, you know? You know. It's pretty good, like, it's not, bad you know you wouldn't think your average youtuber making a minecraft song would be able to get a team to animate and write a better song than viva la vida now that's a very biased opinion but 
Maybe it's just because I grew up around it, but I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather listen to Fallen Kingdom than Viva La Vida. Although I do love Coldplay, but that's not the point. 2012 to 2013, in my honest opinion, was Minecraft's peak. It made everyone's childhood, especially the songs. But seven years later, Minecraft blows up? Minecraft has blown up after being dead for so long? That's right, my friends, we can all think a man named Call Me Carson. You may have heard of him based off his SMP live videos or just memes of him. But because of SMP live, Minecraft suddenly became popular. By, th by the way, quick intermission, if you'd want me to play Minecraft, please comment below. I think it'd be quite comedic and quite funny. Maybe I'll start my own SMP type thing. All right, back to the video. SMP Live was a gigantic, but started small, server where Call Me Carson and his friends would play Minecraft survival together, but the twist was they all had to be streaming in order to play on the server. And also while they were streaming, people could donate, and I believe they could send like, kill messages so basically if you donated you could tell whoever you're watching to go kill someone and you know so basically the people who donate get their own say in how the world goes and it, it's an amazing idea it really was they were all so funny and it brought so much attention to minecraft that it skyrocketed in views making a wave on the internet i have to admit watching jay schlatt and ann venom argue over the minecraft disc stall which by the way definitely is the best disc stall Oh yeah. It really made my week. I mean, seriously, I was trying to send it to all my friends. It was hilarious. Soon later, the last YouTuber we'd ever think played it. PewDiePie. When he uploaded that first Minecraft survival video, it got 36 million damn views. That's crazy. This put Minecraft even more on the map and wiped Fortnite off the platform. Minecraft literally beat Fortnite in search terms, and that's when everyone knew that Minecraft was making a comeback. Little did we know it only lasts a year, but it made a comeback. It really made my heart warm to see all these old classic Minecraft YouTubers coming back to Minecraft. And to all the YouTubers that were involved in that, I say thank you. You made my year. Although Minecraft isn't popping in 2020 anymore, 2019 was definitely Minecraft's year. And it gave me hope for the future of Minecraft. Thank you guys for bringing a sliver of my childhood back. That's the end of this video. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.